All right, so really quick mod today. At least this is one of them because I've got a couple of them because I got a new shipment from Paragon. So we're doing this tail light uh, smoke. We've got sides in the back. That's what it looks like after. This is what it looks like stock. So stock, this is what it looks like. And we got the fully dark version. There's like two versions you can get on Paragon. Smoke and then dark, which is this one. And I think the dark is worth it. I think smoke would be too little. It looks pretty cool. Really easy, they're just peel and stick. That's stock. Again, and that's what it looks like after. We'll do those, and then I got more carbon fiber goodies in there, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Okay, and this is the end result. It's laid out and it's dark. So I'll get, um, I'll get another shot of this in the morning when it's light out but I think it looks pretty slick. Okay, and now for the next set of mods, let me kind of walk you through what we got. I hope this fan isn't like picking up a ton of noise because it is hot in here. And we actually did a home gym in here like not that long ago. That's pretty cool. And the, the barbell matches the Corvette. So it, it goes. Anyway, let me show you guys what I got. Hopefully this fan's cool. Um, this is all interior pieces for in there. I'll show you guys what it looks like before. Um, show you guys what it looks like after. Let me know what you think and what else I should do next, if anything. So first things first, we got this little start, stop, engine button and ring and carbon fiber. So these little pieces, probably do those first because they're really easy, but those, I'll, I'll show what everything covers up at the end, but we got those, then, we got this piece, which should be two pieces in here. Seems like it. Uh, this covers up right by the gear selector. I'll show that here in a minute. Or sorry, by the mode selector. So we're gonna change drive modes. This covers that up. I'll show that in a minute. All, all this is in carbon fiber. And last but not least, we got these carbon fiber speaker covers. Pretty cool. These are all gonna be fairly simple to install. Let me show you what we got. So this is a mod that I did not long ago, these carbon fiber bits. That silver has been like sticking out like a sore thumb ever since. So we're gonna cover that up. I have been like kind of worried about rattling when the music plays, but according to a lot of other people online, these are from Paragon Performance, so I know their quality. Uh, they have not had any issues, no rattling, so excited for that. Then, uh, the start stop button that's right there. So that'll get covered up. That'll look pretty clean and Last but not least is this little silver piece by the mode selector So this piece right here and this piece right here will both get covered by carbon I'm assuming the next thing I'm gonna do is this piece in carbon and I've considered that that speaker grill cover um, because they have that now too and then I mean other than that it's a pretty, like, I love the contrast, is what I really love. I may do this too, in carbon, um, but maybe I'll do that in a couple of weeks or a month. It's not a, that's not bothering me as much, but I love the contrast. Like, that's what I'm loving about this car. That's what I've always loved about cars, like, white car, black accents, love that. Same kind of feel here, orange car, black accents. It just works, we've got I do this every time, but that is carbon flash. That's flash. We got the um, mud guards in flash. Like it's all going together. And then even on the interior, it's white with carbon fiber and it just looks awesome. So it's super cool trying to get rid of all that like shiny um, aluminum plasticky thing. Um, on the outside of the car, I probably would have gone for more like carbon fiber pieces, like a carbon wing um, carbon fiber splitters, carbon fiber door handles, but I feel, and I've really wanted to get carbon fiber, um, what do you call them, canards and dive planes, but I feel like the problem is if I get carbon fiber canards and dive planes, everything else is in carbon flash, and it just doesn't make sense, so I'm gonna wait and get those in carbon flash. Carbon fiber is cool, but I think this looks just as good, it looks just as cool, and it just goes, it's just a whole thing, it fits together. So, yeah, that's everything here. I will let you know, I'll let you guys know when I'm done with these mods, and we'll go from there. 
All right, it's a day or two later. We finished up all the mods. Um, it's not bright outside, so you can see some of them. So let's just do a walk around of the car, check them all out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about tuning the car because that's gonna be very real in the next couple of weeks. I'm really excited for it. I think I've got my mind set on tuning it, so it is what it is. <laughs> but let's just check out some of these mods that I was installing the other day. Now that we're out in the light, let me know what you think and let's just get right into it. All right, we're gonna start on the outside. So these are the tail light inserts. Um, I basically just blacked them out. These look really nice. They were really easy to install. There's still maybe some bubbles on the bottom one, but since it was dark out, it was hard to see them. So they'll come out in time and I probably just leave this car out in the sun um, and squeeze you the rest of those out. That shouldn't take me long at all. But overall, they were really easy to install. There was one on the side marker uh, one on the top, one on the bottom of each tail light, and we did it on both sides. You guys kind of saw that last night, or the other night, whenever that I installed them, but they look pretty cool. I like what it looks like. Um, I think it pulls the back end together really cool, so that's everything over there. Then on the inside of the car, kind of show that real quick, we got these carbon fiber speaker covers. So these look really, really nice too. Um, obviously all the silver we're trying to get rid of all of it we still got a little bit there but that wasn't bothering me nearly as much as the speakers because that was carbon and these were not and it was weird they're maybe a little bit different compared to these ones right here but not by much as you can tell the camera maybe because of the filter there we go that's maybe a little bit better but it doesn't look like that in real life camera's making it look a little bit funky but now we got this carbon and then uh, that carbon trim too. The other thing that we did, I'll go on this side. I will never take this bumper again <laughs> off. I'll never take that bumper off again to install that wing. Um, but it looks great, it was worth it. So there's the speaker on this cover, or on the side. The only other thing we had done, actually there's two other small things. One, uh, we had that piece installed that carbon trim right there, right around the mode selector. That was actually a really easy um, install. It was this top bit right here, and then this was actually a separate piece that I added on. I really like how that looks. Starting to set everything apart. And then last but not least, we got the carbon fiber start and stop button and the ring. So the ring around it is new, and the actual like start stop. So that's everything that we installed this time. All in all, it was really easy. I really like how these look. And then um, on both sides, obviously, that middle piece looks really great. I don't know what else I'll add to the inside, but we'll see. You know, I think if I wanna get all that silver trim out, the only other pieces I really would need are the like door unlocks, um, the gear selector right there, and I think that's it. I know Paragon, I think, just came out with something for that speaker grill cover, but that's not bothering me as much, I think, just because I don't see it. But that's really everything that I would need if I want to get rid of all that, but I think it looks good. I really like how these speaker covers look. They look awesome. So happy with all that. All in all, very easy to install. Same with these uh, tail lights. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. I like what it looks like. So that's everything on there. I probably should do a video on this car because I haven't done one yet. Yeah, and this Porsche is actually really quick for being like an SUV. It's a Macan. Um, it's got the Sport Chrono package as well, so it's pretty cool. I actually gotta put our garage opener back in here anyway. But yeah, this is a really nice car too. It's pretty quick and the clock was just winding. Um, ah, it's actually my fiance's, but it's quick. I've been probably asking her to tune this too or add something to it, but she probably won't do it, but it's still really cool. It's a lot of fun to drive as well. It's very quick. It's probably like the best handling SUV that I've driven. Um, and it looks awesome as well. So pretty cool little dynamic duo. The rest of the video, let's talk about tuning really quick and we'll wrap it up. All right, for the rest of the video, I wanna talk tuning. So if you have not seen, HP Tuners has came out with full support for their E99 
Um, I think the ECMs are just, I know the computers can now be tuned. I'm no, I'm no expert. Um, this stuff came out like a couple of days ago, so it is all brand new and I'm really, really excited to actually tune this car. Um, I was going to, so I'm sure if you've been watching like other videos on my channel, um, I have been talking about potentially putting turbos in the car, power adders. So I've really wanted to do that because I really like the bolt-ons that I've had on, but I want something like more, obviously. It's always just a constant chase for more, more, more. Um, but the power on, the the bolt-ons that I've added on have been great. They've definitely had a noticeable um, improvement in power. Um, I actually took my car recently to the dyno. I'll probably put up some kind of a clip on now. And with the dyno session, it was shown that I think I'm putting around like 460 or 470 to the wheels. Um, I think I still have the sheet of paper. I went to Powertech Performance here in Tampa, Florida. Um, so not bad at the wheels, putting down 460. I'm sitting at around, I don't know, like 500 or something at the crank, which isn't bad. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. I'll, I'll get exact numbers again um, before I tune it because the plan is now, I think this week I'm gonna call Powertech Performance. I already got the numbers on how much it's gonna cost to actually tune the thing. Um, so I'm gonna tune it, hopefully within the next week, like put my name down, get it on the calendar, and then tune the car, um, which is gonna be awesome. So I think what's gonna be able to happen is I'm gonna get full performance and just full use really out of the bolt-ons that I've got on the car as of right now. So I'm really excited to make that happen. What I've, I mean, it's brand new. So I haven't seen any really performance numbers. I know Paragon Performance, where I got a lot of these mods from that I just showed you, um, have done it and I think they're in the process of tuning it like right now, it's Saturday, um, 24th of June. Yeah, Saturday, June 24th. So I think they're in the process of tuning it like as we speak, I just saw it on their Instagram page, but I could be wrong. So I'm really excited to do that. I want to tune the car like as soon as possible to get full benefit out of the bolt-ons that I have and then really see what that does to the car overall. Um, my dream ideally is to get it like as close to or a little bit over, pr probably over 600 horsepower, but I don't really want 700 or more. If I'm like within 600 horsepower, that could be awesome with the bolt-ons that I have. And if I need to add another bolt-on or two, that would be awesome because then that would put me like right in Z06 territory and I wouldn't have to go out and get one. Like I'm really happy with my Stingray. Um, I know the Z06 is flat plane crank which sounds amazing. I love the sound of it, but I also love the sound of the cross plane crank, just naturally aspirated, all American muscle car V8. It sounds awesome. It's just American muscle car V8 in this package that looks like a supercar, which is really, really cool to me. Um, the E-Ray is awesome as well, but that's got the electric motor, so it's even quicker. But I don't necessarily want a hybrid. I just want like all out, naturally aspirated V8, American V8 um, with bolt-ons that I've got, the tune, I think I'll be able to hit the thing that I want. Um, and then there's, I've been thinking about the next car. So that's that's everything tuning. I want to tune the car. Um, that's on the plan. Like the turbos, if I was going to do that, I was going to wait till the beginning of next year. But I think I'm just going to tune it as soon as possible. Why not? Um, <clears throat> if I do it, I'll probably be one of the first in like the Tampa area to do it. So that's really exciting too. Um, the only other thing now that I've been thinking about is like next car. I'm not going to do it anytime super soon but I definitely want like, some kind of a supercar next. Whether, you know, I was thinking about an Audi R8, I've been definitely wanting a McLaren um, 720S or 765 LT, that would be really cool. Um, I've also been thinking about Porsches, or Porsches, uh, like 911 Turbo S is awesome, uh, GT3 or GT3 RS would be really, really cool. Um, but I want something different to what I have here. Like what I test drove before I bought this, was an AMG GTR with a Rentec tune, downpipes, and a couple other things. That was amazing. And I feel like that gives a good contrast. That would be, so this is mid-engine, obviously rear mid-engine. That is technically, I think, a front mid-engine, but it's very different driving experience, driving that versus this. Very cool in their own respective rights. So that would be really cool to have. Um, there's also other really cool cars like Lamborghinis, Obviously the McLaren that I mentioned, there's maybe some Ferraris, but I'm more interested in like the Lamborghinis, I think, than I am Ferrari, um, even though Ferraris are really, really cool. Um, so I'm not totally sure, but those are just some cars that are on the top of my mind. This I'm gonna keep for, I mean, this is my very first 
like supercar I would consider it so I'd like to keep it for the longest that I possibly could um, especially with the tune and everything that I've added to it I've really made it my own I'm really happy with the build and it's nearing to its end there's probably some small bits and bobs that I want to add to it there's the tune which is the main big thing and that's really it uh, maybe an exhaust but like there's not that much else besides that if I even do that uh, the exhaust tune I'm definitely gonna do so let me, let me know what you guys think. There's been no power numbers that have been out there yet, and I get it, it's brand new. That's why I didn't wanna like put my name down like day one, because I called Powertech Performance day one. I was like, put my name down, I wanna do it now. Um, but I didn't, I waited. I called him, I got the numbers. He was like, just call me when you're ready and you can put your name down and we're good. Um, so I'm gonna do it probably at some point this week. I'm sure by Monday, Tuesday, there'll be some numbers out there from Paragon or someone hopefully that'll just say, hey, with the tune, we've been able to achieve X amount of power, X amount of torque. That would make me feel good before I put my name down just so I know what I'm getting into. So we'll see. Let me know what you guys think as well. I'm hoping if this thing can push more than 600 horsepower, easy. That would be easy, a no brainer for me. Um, even if it's 20, 30, 40, 50 horsepower more than what I got now, that's, that'd be really cool. But we'll see. I think this thing making 600, 650, um, like 600 at the wheels for this, that would be awesome for the amount of price that I put into it. I mean, it's, it's a hundred thousand dollar car essentially anyway, um, but not having to get a Z06 and you're getting 600, or, ah, 600 horsepower, that'd be really cool. So let me know what you guys think, what you think the tuning will do. As soon as I know, I will film a video of me dropping it off and doing the whole process and I'll try to get some videos from PowerTech as well, but I'm excited to do it. Let me know what you guys thought of the mods. Um, that I added this time, kind of some of the small tweaks. If there's anything else you think I should do, let me know. The wheel spacers have been a great addition. I love them and I've had no problems with them. Um, I think that's everything for this video. Hopefully next video I film and drop on YouTube, it's me dropping it off to get tuned. And then it's just like a two week waiting period, I think, and then I'll get it back and it's a brand new beast. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys in the loop. Let me know if, what you thought of these mods and if there's anything else. Like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And um, Hopefully the next video, like I said, tune C8. We'll see what it does. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.